Meanwhile, Chandrayaan-3 has completed its orbit around the Earth and is now headed towards the Moon for the next phase of its mission. The lunar orbit insertion is planned for August 5th. ISRO officials say that the Chandrayaan-3 mission has stuck to schedule and the spacecraft's health is actually currently quite normal. Chandrayaan-3, remember, was launched on the 14th of July and after a 40-day flight, the spacecraft is expected to make a soft landing near the Moon's South Pole, making India the fourth country to land on the surface of the Moon and the first country to make a soft landing near the Lunar South Pole. Group Captain uh, V. N. Jha, former Joint Director DRDO, joins us live. Uh, Group Captain Jha, uh, we are learning that uh, so far Chandrayaan-3 is progressing very, very well. Uh, its orbit around Earth now complete? Yes. Uh, very good morning, Uday, and to all your viewers. And those viewers who are specially interested in the Chandrayaan and keeping a track of it day to day. Uh, last night, around 1 o'clock, uh, what has happened is the spacecraft, what was going earlier around the Earth in the elliptical orbit, has been transferred into the lunar trajectory. That means <clears throat> earlier it was the elliptical orbits around the Earth. And uh, last night, at around 1 uh, a.m., the spacecraft uh, Perigee motor, that is when it comes near the Earth, which has been switched on for, I think, about uh, 500 odd seconds, in which it has picked up the velocity of near escape velocity of the Earth. Uh, Earth's escape velocity, velocity is about 11.3 uh, kilometers per second. So around that 11.4 kilometers per second, it has started going from the Earth, out from the Earth's uh, orbit, elliptical, elliptical orbits. But still, as it keeps on going up towards the Moon, and the, what happens in this time is, Moon is somewhere else right now. Moon will continue its movement towards the, uh, you know, in, in its own orbit, and it will come somewhere close to the uh, lunar trajectory, lunar transfer orbit, by the time it reaches there. So in another about say five days, five and a half days, by the time this Chandrayaan-3, it continues out from the Earth, what it had left uh, Earth's perigee at about 11.4 or 11.5 kilometers per second, that, that velocity will continue getting washed out. And by the time it reaches the uh, moon's influence area, moon's gravity influence area. The moon will continue coming towards as it is moving around the Earth. And the, the, the uh, Chandrayaan-3 will be at that time coming close to the moon by about say fifth day or so on 5th of August. They expect that the Chandrayaan-3 will be in the lunar influence area, lunar gravity lunar, uh, influence area. That is the time by the time it, uh, Chandrayaan-3 reaches there, its uh, velocity will be washed out to, you know, just about one kilometer per second. And even further, it will be reduced, the velocity will be reduced uh, to make it insert into the lunar gravity. That is, that will be very, very tricky uh, uh, maneuver. See, the, the, the moon will continue coming here. And as Chandrayaan reaches there, it comes to the lunar uh, uh, influence area. And at that time, maneuvers will be made by ISRO so that the Chandrayaan-3, it gets into the moon's gravity. And once it is caught by uh, moon into its gravity, then Chandrayaan will continue moving into the uh, lunar gravity area, into the highly elliptical, initially, <coughs> initially to be <coughs> elect elliptical orbit around the moon. And in the coming days, uh, lunar maneuvers will be done, lunar orbit maneuvers will be done to bring it to a uh, precise uh, circular orbit of 100 into 100 into the polar orbit. So it's a very complex maneuver. And today, when uh, Chandrayaan has left the, uh, left the Earth's gravity, is leaving uh, Earth's gravity towards the moon, there will be many of the trimming exercise. Because yes. what happens, the, uh, I'll just take another 30 seconds. As it keeps on going away from the Earth, it has to be trimmed. Its its uh, orientation, its direction has to be trimmed. So ISRO will be keeping a track of every small uh, parameters coming out of the uh, um, Chandrayaan-3, and it will continue trimming to exactly 
uh, uh, orient towards the moon so that by the time moon also comes there the the chandrayaan 3 is somewhere close to the lunar influence area when it can be trapped into the uh, lunar gravity so that yes uh, also uh, you know uh, uh, what is the next phase and uh, how long will that continue uh, and by when do we expect uh, its landing on the moon group captain shah yeah <clears throat> so what happens once the tli happens the trans lunar insertion what we call it uh, chandrayaan will come close to the moon then there will be some maneuvers done on uh, 5th of august by uh, isro to insert into the lunar gravity in the lunar gravity it will continue into the initially the elliptical orbit uh, that will continue and it will continue get decelerated in the coming uh, days uh, when into the moon's gravity so that uh, elliptical orbit will slowly continue uh, shortening up and it will become absolutely round around the moon say 100 kilometers into 100 kilometers orbit once it is stabilized in that orbit uh, that will be somewhere close to the time uh, when the sunrise is expected on to the moon into that south pole merging with that you know matching with that uh, the right now chandrayaan is uh, is a, a single single uh, body of having the propulsion module the 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 lander and the rover rover is inside the lander and lander is fixed with the uh, the the uh, the other module propulsion module so once the everything stabilized once that uh, sunrise is expected onto the south pole that is the time when the uh, the lander module will separate out from the uh, the the other module and it will continue uh, rotating around the uh, moon for another maybe couple of uh, uh, rounds or maybe couple of days and when every parameter is fine uh, the chandrayaan has already been given a program that when the sunrise happen to that area where landing is expected that is the time when the separation will happen and there will be uh, you know maneuvers by isro when it will try to get uh, the the uh, lander module separated out Uh, from the propulsion module and then it will head on towards the uh, you know last 15 minutes or so what uh, the previous director of isro said that it is a terrifying area that is the, the terrifying time for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon